Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Industry Day at the Range, SHOT Show 2024 at the SDS Imports booth. And you guys are bringing in some 2011s, right? That's correct. Tell us about what you got coming in for 2024. Okay. So first off, we've got the Mac 9 double stack, 17 plus one. Um, you have bushingless bull barrel. Obviously you can see that the, the um, Magwell. Magwell, yes, sorry. These are Optus ready. Uh, so they have basically all the features that you want in the, the typical 2011 pattern gun. 17 round magazine. It's also using the same STI pattern magazine. Okay. Yeah. What's the uh, optic cutter? Are you using a plate system, I imagine, because yeah, of how thin the slide RMR, is? Yes. RMR, yes. Why am I interested in this as a 2011 versus something like, say, a Staccato? Price point. Purely price point. This gun is very affordable, coming in a little over $1,000 MSRP. Uh, it has all the same features as all the popular 2011 platforms that are out there in the industry today. Where's this being made? This is being made in Turkey. What if I'm apprehensive about that? I'm like, I don't trust that. I'd rather have something made in America or what have you. Right. So I'm the director of product development for SDS. I live in Turkey. So I spend my life with design and development of everything that we bring in. I actually work in the factories over there that produce our firearms. So they go through very rigorous testing and evaluation. Everything that we do goes through a 10,000 round burn down. We evaluate wear patterns, uh, any kind of oddities in the function of the gun. We go from there and we have our own engineering as we work with engineering of the factories there as a team in order to develop these and to vet them out. What's this model called? This is the Mac 9 Double Stack. Okay, and you have other 2011s also under the TSIS Correct. label that Correct. you're importing, Correct. but talk to me about this one and explain to me how this one's different from the ones you're about to show me. Okay, so this the, the primary difference with this firearm is the bushingless full barrel. All of our TSOSH guns have the traditional bushinged barrel. Uh, this gun was designed primarily with competitive shooters in mind, three gun, which is where I come from originally, uh, USPSA. So it was basically following all the controls that are typically desired in those fields. So talk to me about the features, and you already gave a little, you glossed over it a little bit, but tell me about the sights, the trigger, tell me everything you can. Okay, so we got fiber optic sights, we've got an adjustable trigger, we've got ambi safety, um, of course optics cut, so if you want to do carry optics in free gun, you're already ready for that, basically take that off, replace it with a plate for whatever optic you want to use at the time, uh, obviously leave the front side on. I said the same thing. I was like, oh, what and what's the finish? The finish is QPQ. A thousand bucks, right? Uh, I think a thousand ninety nine is what the MSRP is. Okay, yeah. Ten ninety nine. I don't deal with sales. Right. <laughs> and when will these be released? Uh, these will be released right after Shot Show. They're in production now. Let's talk about the T Sauce okay. version. All right. So we've got three versions of the T Sauce. We have a duty model, which is a four and a quarter inch length. We have the, or excuse me, the uh, the carry model. This is the duty model, five inch, and then we have the Night Stalker, also five inch. So this is following the line of the Night Stalker guns that we already have. We've got the PX9 in the Night Stalker. We have uh, the 1911 in Night Stalker. So we've got a whole series of all the 19 or the the Night Stalker pattern with the relief cuts, the different geometry. Um, in some cases, we have threaded barrels. Uh, still the same double stack base frame, base magazine, ambi controls. Uh, What's the mag pattern? Mag pattern is STI. Okay. Yeah, STI staccato. So. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I just no, wanted no to get that. Magazine keep going. Coming from Checkmate. So they're coming out of the U.S. Uh, being shipped to T sauce and assembled with the kind of air test. Other than being my nickname in college, what is the Night Stalker? What does that mean? I recall seeing this at TriggerCon, right? right? It's like you guys have lightning cuts in right. the uh, the slide. You've got that gray finish. I mean, right. I think We've it's... We've got the additional geometry cuts in the slide and all that. Right. Yeah. So what else do we have? Walk me through the other two here. Okay, so this is the duty model of the T-Sosh. It's got all the same features as a Night Stalker. It does not have the threaded barrel. All ambi controls. Uh, same trigger and everything. Uh, still adaptable for sights. So it's just your basic duty gun in double stack. 
Gotcha. And then the carry model here. Carry version, the only difference in that is four and a quarter inch barrel. All the same exact controls. And what about pricing and availability for all of these three? All these guns are in production right now. They will be available within the next month or so for sale. Uh, I think there's already pre-selling going on right now. Price range of the TSOSH guns are uh, 100 or so dollars less. They don't have quite the features of the MAC gun. The MAC gun's more competition design. So, If I understand the pitch here, you're talking about a gun that's several hundred dollars cheaper than competing 2011s, exactly. yeah, exactly. but you would say the, the same quality. Exactly. Exactly same quality. Gaines, thank you so much for yes, walking us you. through this new Absolutely. line of 2011s. Guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2024.